Using conversion factors, or sometimes called dimensional analysis, is an important skill for you to develop, whether you're taking chemistry, physics, working on an engineering degree. The real key to this concept is that we're looking at units, and the units will help guide us as we solve problems. And then we will find that if you take care of the units, the units will take care of you. So it starts with this really simple concept that you learned long ago in your math classes. This concept that if you take any number and you multiply that by num 1, it doesn't change that number. So let's just look at this in a little more sophisticated example. What if we multiply 2 times 3 over 3? It still doesn't change that number. And we've learned this because we know that 3 and 3 simply divide out. They factor to 1. Now often we just ignore those, and sometimes people say they cancel out or they go away or something like that, but really they factor to 1. Or we can also consider it like this. If you have 2 times 3 times 2 over 6 times 1, we know that that can be considered 1 as well. It doesn't change our original number. Well, this is the same thing we're doing when we use conversion factors to convert from one unit to another. Let's look at this example. If we have two feet and we want to change, we want to convert two feet to inches. Now, I know you can do that in your head, but let's look and see how this would appear if we were doing dimensional analysis with this problem. Well, first of all, we have to have a conversion factor. And in this particular conversion, uh, we need the conversion factor that relates feet to inches. And most of us know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So we're going to use that conversion factor by taking our original measurement and we're going to multiply that by a fraction and we're going to arrange the fraction so the unit of feet right here is going to be factored out by the unit down here. So we'll place feet on the bottom of our fraction here so that these factor to 1, and we end up being able to ignore it. The new unit we want is going to go right here on the top. Now we have to decide what number goes here with feet. Well, it's going to be the number from right up here in our conversion factor. And what number goes here with inches? Well, it's the number from right here in our conversion factor. <clears throat> So the really important piece of this example is not just that we've changed to 24, but that our unit has changed. It's also really important for us to note that the measurement has not changed. We still have a measurement here of 2 feet, and that's equal to our measurement of 24 inches. <clears throat> So let's look at just a couple more examples of this kind of problem. <clears throat> so in example one, we're going to convert from um, <clears throat> five miles to inches. from 5 miles to inches. Now most of us don't know the conversion factor. We don't know how many miles, uh, how miles relate to inches, how many inches are in a mile. But we do know that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. 
and we do know that one foot equals 12 inches. So we can set this problem up. Just We always start by putting down our original measurement, 5 miles. And we're going to use conversion factors, first of all, to make the mile disappear and the feet to be our new unit. Then, after that, we will use um, the next conversion factor to make feet disappear and inches be our final unit. Now let's decide what numbers to put into these places. Well, in this relationship between feet and miles, let's see, the number that goes with miles is 1, and the number that goes with feet is 5,280. <clears throat> in the next relationship, the number that goes with inches is 12, and the number that goes here with feet is 1. So to solve this problem, we pull out our calculator and we do 5 times 5,280 times 12 and we get the number of inches in one mile. In um, a second example, we're going to use the same two conversion factors to convert one um, one hundred thousand inches and we're going to convert that to miles and our two conversion factors were that one mile equals five thousand two hundred eighty feet and one foot equals 12 inches. So this time, our original measurement, the measurement we're starting with, our 100,000 inches, we want in this conversion factor, inches to disappear and our new unit to be feet. And we want our See, that way the inches will go away and we'll be left with feet. In the next conversion factor, um, <clears throat> we want feet to disappear and miles to be our new unit. So now we just have to go back and put in our units, or the numbers, to go into these conversion factors. We see our final unit is mile. That's exactly what we wanted. So here... The relationship between inches and feet, right here, 12 inches is one foot, and right here, uh, one mile, here's the one, one mile, 5,280. So to solve this problem, I'm going to put into my calculator 100,000 divided by 12 and divided by 5,280. So 100,000 divided by 12 and divided by 5,280 is 1.58, or just a little over one mile. Uh, actually, if we were rounding it to one sig fig, it would end up rounding up to two miles. Anyhow, there you go, dimensional analysis.